There is a way to already fight the final form of chumps, the final boss from the Coiled Captors DLC in Tiny Tina's Wonderland. Not just that, but we also have a nice trick so you can farm the boss as many times as you want without running through the entire dungeon every time you want to fight him, which will save you a lot of time as well as give you tons of loot. We'll explain everything you need to know in this video, a like would really help the channel out, and let's go! So the idea of Chumps, the final boss in the Coiled Captors DLC, is that you can come back every week to fight a stronger version of him. Gearbox even posted a time schedule so you can see what form goes live when, but thanks to Gun Carter in our comments, we discovered that you can already fight all forms of Chumps if you simply play without an internet connection. Playing without a connection, of course, means hotfixes won't be applied to the game, which also has some other fun benefits, more on that in a bit, but yeah, if you've defeated Chumps once and go to the Mirror of Mystery in offline mode, you'll now see that you are able to select a second difficulty before stepping into the mirror. Because you will still need to fight all previous forms before you reach the fourth and final one. Each form changes both Chum's appearance and abilities a little bit, with the final form having a switch up halfway through, which turns him into an actual tornado. Yeah, I'm not kidding here. This boss fight second phase is basically Sharknado the game for if anyone remembers that movie. So, why would you want to fight this stronger version of the boss? Well, for the loot, of course. Gearbox already noted that for these DLC bosses, the harder the fight, the better the loot. And from my experience, this is absolutely true. I haven't had a legendary drop from his first form after a couple of runs, but every run on his second form or higher dropped at least one, if not multiple, legendaries. Plus, it also seems like there are way more bags of gold and moon orbs that drop as well. So while the fight does get a bit tougher, you also get a lot more if you manage to defeat him, so I'd say it's definitely worth it. And to make this farm even better, there's also a way to make sure you can fight Chumps without going through the entire dungeon every time you want to fight him. Thanks to Jolt's dude, link to his channel will be in the video description, we know that Chumps actually resets if you die in the arena after killing him. So bring a weapon you can use to down yourself, I use the Rain of Arrows but I think any Torque weapon will work too, and then after you've defeated the boss and check your loot, simply down yourself, respawn, and when you jump back into the arena you will find that Chumps has respawned as well. So you only need to make it through the dungeon once and after that you can just farm the boss as many times as you want. And you may have already noticed that my weapon of choice during this boss fight is the liquid cooling, a weapon that was significantly nerfed in a previous hotfix. But like you probably already guessed, since we're not playing with a hotfix, the damage numbers are back to what they were before, which means that the liquid cooling is back to dealing insane damage again. And I think it goes without saying that none of this was supposed to happen, so I recommend that if you want to make use of the tactics in this video, do it soon sooner rather than later, as I have a feeling that an upcoming hotfix or update will take care of this problem. Anyway, thanks for watching, remember to subscribe if you don't want to miss our next Wonderlands video, of course leave a like if you like this one, and if you want, you can watch our previous video by clicking on the screen where we go over some amazing changes that came with the most recent patch. I'll see you in the next one, goodbye!